the nostalgia critic guy, remember it so you don't have to. Everybody loved Hook except for critics, and everybody loved the Lost Boys except for critics. And the one Lost Boy that everybody loved the most, including critics, is Rufio. Though not a character from the original story Peter Pan, the new leader of the Lost Boys has gained popularity as, well, the cool Lost Boy. Everybody seemed to love this kid because it seemed like he was the awesome rebel. It was even hinted that with every boy coming from a different time period, Rufio's time period was most likely the 80s. As if he couldn't be more badass already. With fans still loving the character, Rufio's actor, Dante Bosco, shown here in this dignified file footage, honor, 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 did a crowdfunding campaign to put together a short based around the character. That short's name is Bangarang. Finally, we have a backstory to Mr. Skunkhead with too much moose. And it seems to have the blessing of the person who obviously knows the most about the character, Dante Bosco. Is it worth checking out? Well, let's take a quick look and see. This is my review of Bangarang. Well, seeing how Rufio was said to be an 80s kid, the film starts out in present day. Yeah, sounds about right. The 80s are everywhere now. We see our young lead is named Rufus having a sword fight on a playground as kids do. And <clears throat> some adults. But a bully approaches them. We should always stop anchor. No, bad form, we negotiate. Wow, they're like medieval times waiting staff committed to this. Why do I get the feeling you're all gonna be the D&D player nobody likes to play with? Hey, as long as you don't mail used condoms to your friends, I'm good. Rufus, buddy. What the hell are you doing here? This is a kid's playground? You're late to your audition for Greece. You're not even wearing your jacket. He gets in a fight with the bully and is called to Principal Cameo's office. You play football? Sports? I believe in things. Oh, you're a believer. You're a dreamer. What do you dream about? Like how the moon landing was fake. Okay, we need to talk. I can't ever remember. Well, how are you supposed to live out your dreams if you don't remember them? You know, I used to be like Sid. I was no, a no, 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 no. We need to address that twirl. If he forgets what he believes, well, he believed he was Billy Elliot for a second, and he should be reminded. Mad at the world because of things I thought I could control. But I had one thing going for me. I had one thing that would keep me up when life is down. Catching the Avatar. All right, I know you were all counting down to that joke. Here's the winning timestamp. A single memory that I held tight and close to my heart. A happy one. Here, homework. Well, as a kid who believes in fantasies, I've never heard of this story. I don't really pay attention to things unless there's a Disney film about it. Rufus goes home to meet with his friends, but sadly they have to be told some bad news. I will be going back to the Philippines for a time, and Rufus will be going to a foster home. Forever? No, not forever. Until a family adopts him, or until I can come back. Really? I didn't think anyone wanted to adopt a 13-year-old boy. That 13-year-old boy is sitting right next to you, sensitivity training! As long as you don't get a bunch of tattoos and dye your hair red. Need I remind you of your Uncle Ronald? She's obviously anxious about leaving Rufus, as represented by a crossfade that was so anxious to start it forgot to actually fade in, as Rufus tries to escape into his stories of Peter Pan. Boy, for a kid not interested in football or sports, he sure does have a lot of football and sports on his walls. What the hell? Goku! Use your Super Saiyan power to keep me here! Or a sword, weird choice. Oh wait, you're Sonic from Black Knight! That's even better, I think! Next day, he's rapping with his friends, literally. Gotta look up when life is down. Just cause your kingdom me needs a crown. Eh, that's not bad. But nothing beats Peter banning when he's off camera. I'm a raptor. Doing what I can. When Johnny mentions a certain word. I'ma be a star, death with fame. So the world up. Bangarang. You can't make up words, Jelani. Oh, 609 million views disagree. But the bully comes back to start trouble. What's he doing? Trying to fly. What? You heard me. Trying to fly. Okay, trying to fly. I'll tell you what. If you fly for me right now, I'll make sure to leave you and your friends alone. Forever. On top of that, I'll buy all the kids on this playground shirts with copyrighted images. There are way too many stripes and solid colors up here! But if you fall, I'll make sure your legs aren't the only things that are broken. Fire die. Rufus, snap out of it! Hey! 
I had a dream that I was attacked by an 80 school portrait. Thank God there were no lasers this time. Okay, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but when I go to sleep, I start to fly. <laughs> that does sound crazy. All I dream about is cabbage rubbing oil on my nipples, like normal kids. Maybe this is your subconscious, dealing with the whole foster care thing in a Freudian way. Or he just dreamed he could fly. You're a really weird girl. But Rufus can't shake the feeling that he might be meant for greater things. I feel like I'm meant to be somebody. Like, I'm special. Sounds stupid when I say it out loud, but it's how I feel. I mean, I can totally see myself getting stabbed by a short Jewish pirate. I don't know why, I feel like that's my destiny. What if my dreams don't come true? That's your father talking. Stephen Wright is a pretty lousy parent. But he decides he wants to change his look and challenge the bully to a, um, fly-off. Oh, that's too bad. Get up, get up. Are you okay? I told you you couldn't fly. Now how about you and your little friends here? Go. Bye-bye. Wait till I tell my friends I made fun of you. Wait, I don't hang around anyone. Why don't you make fun of me? But Rufus, Jesus is himself and achieves the power of flight. reactions are all great, but this one kid in particular cracks me up. She's seeing a boy fly and she has a look that says, I can make money on this. I put together five different business plans for this to make me rich. I am silently pissing myself every color known to man right now. You are the O. Rufus wins the bully's jacket, but Johnny wonders how he pulled it off. Where were the wires? Uh, you know it was real, Jelani. I just think it's kind of odd. He just floated. Don't you think? He was flying, Jelani. Okay, I want to live in whatever mindset underplays all this. I know kids have wild imaginations, but if I saw this, I would kiss his ring finger and say, Name thy first sacrifice, O Lord. I love you, Mom. Rufus says goodbye to his mother, but rather than go to a foster home, he pulls a bird man and leaves out the window. <laughs> My god, he's become an American dragon! Winning timestamp for that. He arrives in Neverland! I hope I'm figuring this isn't what you see when you land face first on the house sidewalk, and grabs the sword that Pan himself left behind. I will stop there being more Pirate of the Caribbean sequels! And that was Bangarang, a very charming and delightful fantasy. It definitely has its clunky moments, but the passion and simple message of it is too likable to overlook. The colors are very soothing, it's shot nice, and it's given us a backstory we've always wanted to know. Everyone involved is clearly trying to capture the magical feeling of being a kid and believing in stories like Peter Pan, but also having it challenged by the fears of harsh reality. This very much delivers an innocent and positive look into the benefits of taking a chance on your dreams and fantasies. It's got a lot of heart and whimsy and deserves to be checked out. And if you like to, you can go to Dante Bosco's YouTube channel and view it in its entirety. Give it a click and get swept away. I'm the nostalgia critic, I remember- Hey, Critic. Oh, hey, don't firebend me over this. I like the film. No, I know, I know. I just wanted to uh, thank you for giving it a fair shot. You mean, you didn't even mind why I made fun of it? Well, hey, it's a passion project about following your dreams. And if something as small as that got in the way, then it wasn't that great of a passion or dream now, was it? Aw, oh, well, thanks so much, man. It's good to know you're still the awesome guy everybody says you are. Now, the bomb that I strapped under your desk that's going to explode when you stand up, that I put there because I just don't like you. Fair enough. I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember. Wait, what was that last part?
Hey, Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out, and this week we are doing Ark of the United States. This is the largest national community based organization advocating for and serving people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. They encompass all ages and all spectrums from autism to Down syndrome to other various developmental disabilities. The Ark is driven by opportunity the opportunity for hope growth, change, and everyone to become a valued, contributing member of their community. They strengthen people with disabilities, their parents, and family members, with dedicated professionals connecting them across their national network of community-based chapters. If you look at their site and their YouTube channel, you can see the collective voice that provides the opportunity for all of us to make a difference. Look and see how you too can help people with developmental disabilities and their families achieve full and satisfying lives.